Welcome to our journey through the fascinating world of Juba dance, a powerful symbol of cultural resistance among enslaved Africans in the Americas. You might think you know about African-American dance traditions, but prepare to be amazed by the complexity and significance of Juba. In this video, we explore its roots and rituals, but in addition, we'll look at how Juba dance has shaped modern music and dance in ways you've never imagined. So let's step into the rhythm of resistance and discover the hidden language of Juba dance. I'm Professor Darius. Welcome back to African Elements. Welcome if you're new. Juba dance, also known as Patan Juba, emerged as a profound expression of African cultural identity in the face of oppression. In this video, we'll uncover the rich history, deep symbolism, and lasting impact of this unique art form. This unique dance form allowed enslaved Africans to maintain their traditions and sense of community, even under the harshest conditions. At its core, Juba dance uses the body as an instrument, creating intricate rhythms through clapping, slapping, and stomping. But Juba was far more than just a dance. It served as a lifeline to African heritage, a means of passing down cultural knowledge from one generation to the next. The rhythms and movements carried deep meanings and symbolism that only those within the community could fully understand. In this way, Juba became a form of secret communication allowing enslaved Africans to express themselves and resist cultural erasure right under the noses of their oppressors. The influence of Juba dance extends far beyond its original context, shaping various art forms and cultural expressions. In music, the rhythms and spirit of Juba can be heard in genres ranging from blues to jazz and even classical compositions. Literary works have also drawn inspiration from Juba dance, using it as a powerful metaphor for African-American resilience and creativity. Juba dance played a crucial role in shaping African-American vernacular traditions. Its influence can be seen in various musical and dance forms that emerged from African-American communities. The rhythmic complexity and improvisational nature of Juba laid the foundation for many African-American artistic expressions. The impact of Juba dance extends to genres like blues, jazz, and gospel. These musical forms share characteristics with Juba, such as call and response patterns and rhythmic complexity. The body percussion techniques used in Juba also influenced the development of other dance styles, including buck dancing and clogging. Now let's examine the role of gender in Juba dance, which offers fascinating insights into African and African-American social structures. But first, since you're still with me, how about dropping a like? Maybe even consider subscribing for more content straight from my classroom to you. You can also support this content by joining the community of history makers on Patreon. There you can get access to ad-free video content for as little as a dollar a month. Either way, your support is greatly appreciated. While both men and women participated in Juba dance, their roles and movements often reflected broader societal expectations and norms. In some Juba dance traditions, men and women perform different steps or occupy different spaces within the dance circle. These distinctions could reflect the division of labor in slave communities or echo African cultural practices. However, the expressive nature of Juba also allowed dancers to push boundaries and express individual identities beyond rigid gender norms. This dynamic interplay between tradition and innovation demonstrates how cultural practices can both reinforce and challenge societal norms, providing a space for negotiating identity and power dynamics. One of the most fascinating aspects of Juba's legacy is its incorporation into Western classical music. African-American composers like Florence Price and R. Nathaniel Dett drew inspiration from Juba, integrating its rhythms and spirit into their symphonic works. This fusion of African-American folk traditions with European classical forms created a unique musical language. Florence Price's use of Juba in the third movement of her first symphony showcases the dance's adaptability to different musical contexts. Price and other composers challenged prevailing notions of serious music by bringing Juba into the concert hall. They asserted the value and complexity of African-American cultural traditions on a global stage. The evolution of Juba dance into tap dance marks a fascinating chapter in African-American dance history. Juba's complex rhythms and improvisational style laid the groundwork for the development of tap dance. As Juba dance evolved, it incorporated elements of European dance styles, 
creating a unique fusion. This blend of African and European influences gave birth to tap dance, a distinctly American art form. The rhythmic footwork of tap dance can be traced back to the body percussion techniques used in Juba. The representation of Juba dance in museums and historical narratives plays a crucial role in preserving and promoting African-American cultural heritage. Museums showcasing Juba dance offer visitors a glimpse into the rich history and significance of this art form. These exhibitions help educate the public about the resilience and creativity of enslaved Africans and their descendants. Historical narratives about Juba dance have evolved over time, reflecting changing attitudes towards African-American culture. Early accounts often exoticized or misunderstood Juba, but contemporary scholarship places it within its proper cultural and historical context. This shift in perspective highlights the importance of African-American voices in shaping the narrative around their own cultural traditions. The influence of Juba dance continues to resonate in modern dance forms. Contemporary choreographers draw inspiration from Juba's rhythms and movements, incorporating them into new works. Modern dancers and choreographers often use elements of Juba to connect with African-American cultural heritage or to explore themes of resistance and identity. The improvisational spirit of Juba finds new expression in contemporary dance styles, from hip-hop to modern experimental forms. In recent years, there has been a growing movement to revive and celebrate Juba dance within contemporary African-American communities. This revival aims to reconnect people with their cultural heritage and highlight the historical significance of Juba. Dance troops, cultural organizations, and educational institutions are at the forefront of these efforts. The contemporary revival of Juba dance faces challenges, such as reconstructing movements and rhythms that were not always well documented. However, dedicated researchers and practitioners are working to piece together the history of Juba and bring it to life for modern audiences. These efforts often involve a combination of historical research and creative interpretation. The resurgence of interest in Juba dance reflects a broader movement to reclaim and celebrate African-American cultural traditions. By reviving Juba, communities are preserving an essential piece of history and affirming their cultural identity and resilience in the face of ongoing social challenges. As we've seen, Juba dance is far more than just a historical curiosity. It's a living, breathing testament to the resilience, creativity, and cultural richness of African Americans. From its origins as a form of resistance during slavery to its influence on modern music and dance, Juba continues to inspire and educate. It reminds us that even in the darkest times, the human spirit can find ways to resist, create, and preserve identity. Thank you for joining me on this exploration into the power of cultural expression in Juba dance. If you found some value in this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more African and African-American history content. As we move forward, let's carry the rhythm of Juba with us, honoring its legacy and continuing to explore its rich cultural significance. If you'd like to explore the African roots of Black culture further, check out this video on the African origins of Black music.